Welcome back with Milton bearing down on Florida already causing damage before it makes landfall. The Red Cross is in desperate need for blood donations. Now Heidi Ruster is here to emphasize the importance. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So uh, let's talk about that. You, we, we hear a lot of times that the Red Cross is in an emergency or in desperate need of blood donations. Can you put into context where we are now? How desperate is the need? Sure, so the donations are way down related to Helene. Um, and now Milton, and uh, so we we have ramped up the blood donation across the country to support the blood donations we're not getting in those locations, and then supporting our blood partners. So we don't collect the Red Cross doesn't collect blood in Florida, but we're a secondary provider, and during disasters we work together to support each other. So both for blood donations and platelet donations is where we're trying to ramp up our efforts throughout the country. And in these emergencies, you know hospitals need to have blood at sure. hand and and when you have emergencies like Helene and Milton back to back like this some hospitals may not have those reserves exactly I mean there's been some un unfortunate consequences of these storms with injuries and deaths and um, it's just really important that the hospitals and the systems have the wherewithal and blood and products accordingly to get when they need them but the need has increased definitely and you mentioned because uh, on the East Coast where they're having these issues, a lot yeah. of places you're not able to do donations, so you're kind of behind on, on some of these. Well, to a degree. I mean, we work with our other blood partners in those locations, and we're always a backup to them when these situations occur. So we're a network of providers that back up each other when the need arises and the need is here. Sure, and, yeah. and obviously when folks at home, they see the devastation so far away, and they sure. think, well, what can we do? And we've talked about blood donations. and What else can Utahns do? Who are, who are at home and say, you know, I want to find a way to help. Yeah, so totally go to redcrossblood.org, download the app. You can get an appointment and donate blood. Um, to financially support what we do in those locations is absolutely necessary in order to get exactly what those individuals need in those communities. The financial donations make a difference. Redcross.org forward slash donate. You can donate through those sources um, and also volunteering. So we've got a significant increase in the number of volunteers that are interested in deploying, but also being Red Cross volunteers locally. Um, so again, go to redcross.org. You can start the application process. Get a sense of the great positions you can have. You can deploy for two weeks to these locations or do work here locally. Um, just as much or as little as you're able to engage with us, we're, we're open to having and, and engaging all skills and capabilities. And Heidi, you mentioned those deployments. What are those like when, when people volunteer and, and go yeah. to make deployments? So, uh, you know, it depends on the severity of the storm. So sometimes it can be quite austere, sometimes without power, uh, sometimes in a shelter situation. Hopefully we have some hotels that we're able to put people in, uh, but they're working 12 plus hours a day for the whole time they're there um, and working either in a shelter or if you have mental health um, licensure, you can be doing that work. You can be feeding in communities as flooding d you know, goes back. We can go into those communities doing emergency um, resource distribution, uh, just a variety of activity and engagement, and we train you. So we have some shelter training going on today um, throughout our region of Utah, Nevada, but we'll have some upcoming in Salt Lake. So you can sign up, get trained pretty quickly, and learn how to respond in a variety of ways of, of where your interest lies or your skill set lies. All right, Heidi Ruster, thank yeah. you so much for being with us. Appreciate the time. We'll be right back. Thank you.